Okay, let's talk about the backhand. All right, the backhand shot and the backhand grip are a little bit different, okay? So, earlier I showed you guys how to do the handshake grip, right? You grab it and you handshake it and then that's your grip, right? Now, with the backhand, it's a little bit different. You want to turn it a little bit, you want to tur turn it a quarter turn clockwise, quarter turn clockwise in order to have that perfect backhand grip. See, um, you can't see it right there. You see this line right here lined up with my, with my hand right here. That's how you want to do it, okay? So, backhand. Some, some of the best uh, teaching met or methods of learning how to do a backhand it, are these, and I'm gonna show them to you. So, first things first is put your racket inside your, uh, well, pretend you're putting your racket into a holster. Like if you have a sword, like a, you know, like you're a knight in shining armor or something like that, right? You wanna pull that sword out and that'll give you the perfect backhand grip, okay? Or you can do like I showed you earlier. This is the forehand, this is the backhand. You just turn, turn it a quarter turn uh, clockwise. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's talk about the backhand stance, right? All right, backhand stance, you want to, you want to be like this. Okay, so ideally, if there's a, a, a ball coming, you want to be ready, right? And then you want to go into your backhand stance. So backhand stance, you want to be able to hit it like that, right? Put yourself not just off, off the table again, off that table in a flat, uh, flat motion, okay? Now, some people like to come back here. Some people like to bring the racket way up here, you know, with a, like a, like a twisted pretzel thing. Me, personally, I just turn a little bit and then I open up, okay? Notice my hips are facing you, which would be the front wall and racket wall. Notice my front toe is pointing towards where I want to shoot it and my back foot is pivoting. If you, Hopefully you can see that, all right? So, pivot, all right? Ready, shot, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how that thing is doing. Oh wait, one last thing. Uh, this is one of the best teach, uh, things that I've learned how to uh, hit a backhand shot with. Uh, the analogy is picture yourself throwing a Frisbee, okay? So if you have a Frisbee, you're gonna be throwing your frisbee, you're gonna be turning and throwing the frisbee. Turning and throwing the frisbee, right? Picture this as your frisbee. Okay? Frisbee. Just holding on to the bottom of the grip. Frisbee, okay? So, hit it out this direction, then I'm gonna go hit it towards the front of the board. Actually, I'm gonna hit it towards you. some more videos please in the comments section let me know what you guys want me to teach you uh, I don't know everything but I know a pretty good amount about racquetball and I'd like to share my knowledge with you I have over 20 years experience playing racquetball it's an awesome sport you could burn about a thousand calories an hour there's to me there's no better sport out there no more fun there's no funner sport than this but that's just me you know you might feel the same way let me know in the comment section. Is racquetball your favorite sport? Do you burn about a thousand calories an hour? Because we have had uh, science back data with some of my friends that I play with and they burn about a thousand calories an hour using Fitbits and Garmin's and all that good stuff. 
anyway, uh, once again, this is Angel, the Wolfman, and uh, I'll be shooting back. I'll be coming back and uh, we'll be talking some more. I'll be teaching you some other things. Let me know what you want to know.